I woke up this morning and came to the realization that election day is almost here. I also came to the realization that if the American people vote out Donald Trump, it could be one of the worst things to happen in American history. You see, this video isn't all rah rah, I love Donald Trump, MAGA, MAGA, MAGA. This video is just facts. For four years, Democrats and swampy Republicans have been saying that Donald Trump is going to destroy America, that Donald Trump is a racist and a bigot, that Trump supporters are evil and white supremacists. Where is it at? Where is all the things that they said was going to happen under the Trump administration at? They said women were going to lose rights, gays would no longer be able to get married, and blacks were going to be reshackled. Where is it at? They said Trump supporters were the new KKK. Where is that at? You see, the truth is, everything they said was going to happen under the Trump administration was lies. It was never going to happen. They just wanted to fill you up with fear so that you wouldn't vote for Donald Trump. So that you would hate Donald Trump. And so that you would blame the destruction of America on Donald Trump. When in reality, the destruction of America is on them. You see, who's paying people to burn down America right now? It's them. Who's paying people to loot, steal, riot, and destroy mom and pop shops? It's them. Who was unhappy when black unemployment was at its lowest? When Latino unemployment was at its lowest? They were. And who refuses to sit at the table with Donald Trump to have a conversation on behalf of the American people, the people they love so much, they refuse. But they manipulated you so much that you think it's Donald Trump's fault, and it's not. They hate Donald Trump so much, not because he's a racist or because he's a Republican. They hate Donald Trump so much because they cannot control him. And that terrifies them. And so they know that they can't control him. So they turned around and tried to control us. And unfortunately, it worked. They controlled people. They made people believe that Donald Trump is evil and disgusting. And they used mainstream media. They gave out sound bites to fit their agenda. Yes, let's chop it up. Perfect. Makes it sound like he's racist. I'm sure most of you guys never even listened to a full Donald Trump speech, to a full Donald Trump interview. You just listened to what mainstream media selected for you to listen to. They use fact checkers. I'm sure most of you guys don't even question who the fact checkers are and how they know all the facts. They used puppets, celebrities, Hollywood. They used chaos and they used tragedy to emotionally manipulate you into thinking that the problem is Donald Trump when all along the problem was them. You see, this election is so important, not because Donald Trump is the best man in the whole entire world, but because this election stands for freedom versus control. If we do not vote Donald Trump back into office, it solidifies to them that they are able to control us, that they are able to manipulate us through the use of mainstream media, censorship, fact check. They're telling you right in front of your face, hey, we're going to take the guns. We're going to mandate masks. Next, it's going to be we're going to mandate vaccinations. And maybe that doesn't bother you now, but guarantee something down the line is going to bother you. It's going to affect you. The question is simple for this election. Do you want to be controlled or do you want to be free?